Louis Chevrolet, the Deuce Mergs, Barney Oldfield, Tommy Milton, and Jimmy Murphy joined Hotel, Auto, Film, and Coal Barons to make the Uniontown Speedway board track King of Speed from 1916 to 1922. I'm Marcy Lynn McGinnis, author of Speedway Kings and Yesteryear at the Uniontown Speedway. It went like this. Rob De Palma won the 1915 Indy 500, then got beat by Charlie Johnson at the Summit Mountain Hill Climb, which is sponsored by Firestone Tires, Golf Oil, and the Pittsburgh Brewing Company. Johnson brought in board track designer Jack Prince and collected 100 grand from the Barons to build the Uniontown Speedway. It was a mile and eighth oval built of hemlock two by fours. The annual Universal Films Trophy was sponsored by company president Carl Lemley. Universal filmed every race, playing them at the Lyric Theater. Lemley awarded the trophy to each year's winner, including Louis Chevrolet and Tommy Milton, who won it twice. Five were killed and 17 injured at the 1916 preliminary opening race, but six months later, Barney Oldfield and his new Golden Submarine arrived for the grand opener. America's Playground for the Wealthy welcomed up to 50,000 spectators. Jimmy Murphy won the last Universal Films trophy in his Murphy special, but what happened to the Wildcat track? Read all about it in Speedway Kings of Southwestern Pennsylvania and Region, 100 Years of Racing History, and yesteryear at the Uniontown Speedway at uniontownspeedway.com. Later area tracks and drivers are also honored in McGinnis' new book, including the Bryson and Gooseman Uniontown Speedways, the Morgantown Speedway, I-79 Interstate, Jennerstown, Motordrome, Roaring Knob, and drivers like Fanny Workman, Mel Minnick, L.J. Dennis, Bob Arsenberger, and the Henrys. Speed Kings, my screenplay about the board track, is seeking filmmakers with vision. Marcy thanks the following sponsors Bobby Lake Motorsports, Ferguson Funeral Home, Ferguson Machine and Motorsports, and of course, the Titlow Tavern and Grill built by George Titlow, who started the Summit Mountain Hill Climbs in 1913.